Hey everybody, uh, we've had some earthquakes recently in Japan, haven't we? I hate earthquakes, they, they, they scare me quite a bit. Um, I guess I should be used to them, but I'm not. Anyway, because we have earthquakes so often, I thought there's no real point making a news video about earthquakes. Um, about this earthquake, but I can make a video about earthquakes in general because you can watch it again and again and again because we, we have many, many, many earthquakes. So the first thing I have to tell you is that in English we use something called the Richter scale. The Richter scale is a system of measuring the strength of an earthquake that was developed by a man named Charles F. Richter. He's an American seismologist. Um, seismologist is a scientist who studies earthquakes. I'm sure you have many seismologists here in Japan. And he developed this system for measuring uh, earthquakes in 1935. And this system is called the Richter scale. So when in, in the Japanese newspaper, when you see how strong the earthquake is, it's using a special Japanese system that only Japan uses. Yes, I remember now. Only Japan uses the system. The rest of the world uses the Richter scale. So when you read an article about a Japanese earthquake in English, it usually tells you the strength according to the Richter scale. So you should know that. Okay, so that's the first earthquake lesson today about, well, the first kind of news lesson about earthquakes, and I'm just telling you about Charles F. Richter, the seismologist who invented a seismograph, and his system of measuring earthquakes is called a Richter scale. Okay, that's Maggie making noise, telling me it's time to go. See you tomorrow.